So we only have a few hours left. So Shiba Inu coin holders, this is for you. This also impacts you if you own any and or other coins, tokens, and crypto. What's going on, Austin? Well, I've been talking about it for a while, and I talk about it every single day on my channel. You guys know, because I, here's the thing. I want to keep you updated on not just Shiba Inu news, but also kind of all crypto macro news. That's my point, right? Because you 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 can't just have blinders on and looking at just SHIB. You need to know what's going on with SHIB itself, the ecosystem, all that kind of stuff. But you need to understand what's going on with Bitcoin and Ethereum and what's going on in the macro crypto environment. Oh, beyond that, what's going on in kind of the financial world? And beyond that, what's going on on the world stage? These are all different backdrops, if you will, to crypto. Okay, so with that said, we only have a few hours left. We only have a few hours left until approximately 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we're going to get the announcement from the Federal Reserve at their FOMC meeting that is happening today. The meeting actually started yesterday, but today is the day we care about because the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Chairman Powell, is going to give his speech at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming it here on my channel. I'm going to go live around 2 p.m. Eastern and be live for about an hour or so covering this whole event because this is a big, big deal. Yes, this does matter to Shiba Inu. This does matter to you because Shiba is a top 15 crypto. It's over $6 billion market cap. And where all of the top cryptos go, Shib follows. And it's just part of that mix, okay, which is a good thing, all right? So with that said, here's kind of the landscape of what may happen, okay? So I'm not going to get into it with all the reports and everything for you, but a lot bottom line is that this event that happens in a few hours, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, is going to set the stage for the next at least month in crypto because this is where we're going to get full visibility and clarity into what the Federal Reserve is going to do about their base interest rate in their, in their combating of uh, inflation and all those different scenarios, right? Okay. The X factor in all of this, the what's muddied the waters is the banking crisis. Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic Bank here in the United States, the 186 other banks that have been identified as having similar, you know, deposit and investment ratios similar to First Republic and Silicon Valley. What that means is that they have the potential to go out of business themselves. The government is not going to let 186 other banks go down. It simply is not going to happen. OK, bottom line. With that said, it is the banking crisis that is that is really factoring into today's decision and what the Fed's going to do. We were, fr quite frankly, before before the banking crisis happened in the last two weeks, we were expecting a 50 basis points raise today. That's what we were going to expect from the Fed. Now it's likely that we might get a 25 basis points because of the banking issue. Yes, you heard me right. It's either going to be 25 or it's going to be 50 basis points raised. We don't simply know. No one knows what it's going to be. The street is calling for a 25 basis points. There's uh, different polls out there. And, and the one that I that I really do pay attention to says that there's about an 85% chance that we're going to get a 25 basis points raise. This does matter to SHIB. This is why I talk about it, because this impacts you and your Shiba Inu crypto investment, and it impacts every other single major crypto coin or token that you own. So thank you for your time. Stay tuned. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button below and please drop a like on the video and stick around today. Be around if you want at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'll be here covering this for you, trying to give visibility and clarity into all this. I'll see you.